Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a quick one, but I really wanted to get it out of the way because I'm pretty excited about this new handheld from Aya. This is the Aya Neo Air, and I've made a couple videos so far. We've had a lot of speculation going on, but recently, Aya held their press conference and showed off the Air. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get the full specs on it or the price, but I gotta say, this thing looks great, and if they hit the right price point, this could be an awesome seller. It's about the same size as the Switch Lite, and if you watch my previous video, we had a bunch of kind of comparison shots from the back, but we've never been able to see the full unit in action. And recently, over on their YouTube channel, they posted some gameplay using the Aya Neo Air, and overall, it does look like it's going to be a great performer for its form factor, size, and weight. It's going to be a very light unit, coming in at under 400 grams. Now, with their press conference, unfortunately, they didn't release the full specs or the pricing yet. That should be coming on the 20th or maybe a little after the 20th of May here. But needless to say, I'm actually really excited about the Air. But in their press conference, they actually announced a few other things that might interest you a little more than the Air does. The first one being the Ioneo Slide. Now this is kind of a concept right now, but I think it looks really awesome. We've got a slide up screen here with a full QWERTY keyboard, and I think this looks really great. For anybody who wants a keyboard in their handheld, this could be a great option. But right now it's kind of in the concept stages. I think they're kind of getting a feel for if anybody's really going to want to buy something like this. But the other thing they announced in the conference, which I think is the most exciting thing, is the new Ioneo 2. Now this is coming out at the end of the year, but this is definitely going to be powered by a Ryzen 6800U, paired up with LPDDR5 RAM running at 6400 MHz. I've done a few tests with the 6800U and the 6900HX. The new 680M GPU that they're using along with these APUs is a beast when it comes to an APU. I mean, definitely the most powerful integrated graphics to date. And with all of the tests I've run so far on the channel with the 6000 series APUs, the RAM was running at 4800 MHz, it's still DDR5, and 5000 MHz. But the Ioneo 2 is running it at 6400 MHz, which is going to make a big difference for those new RDNA 2 graphics. So with this, we're going to get 8 cores, 16 threads, and the new 680M iGPU with some really fast RAM. So we're not exactly sure what the resolution of the screen on the Ioneo 2 is going to be, but hopefully it's 1200p because the 680M iGPU can definitely handle 1080p gaming. And it would be a really nice treat if they used an OLED at 1200p in the Ioneo 2. Needless to say, we do have some really awesome handhelds to look forward to seeing in 2022, and I can't wait for a little more information on the Ioneo Air. Really interested to see exactly what APU this is using, but I'm still going to pick one up. I really want to get my hands on it just to see what we can do with it. Great form factor, under 400 grams. Right now we've only seen the black and the white version, but there are rumors that they might have a few different color schemes, and it would be really nice to see some of the color schemes that they have with the Aya Neo next. I really like the white and orange. I think that really pops on a handheld, and having it in a form factor like this would be pretty awesome. But again, one thing that I'm most excited about is the new Aya Neo 2 with that 6800U. God of War and Elden Ring will run at 60 FPS, 1200p on the 6800U when you pair it up with some 6400 MHz RAM. This is going to be a really awesome handheld, but it's not coming until later in 2022, so we've still got some time on that. But if you're interested in learning more about any of these handhelds, I will leave a link in the description to their YouTube page and their Twitter. So they've got the press conference posted in full over on YouTube. You can go ahead and check it out if you want to. Lots of great information in there. But I would like to know what you guys think about these new handhelds in the comments below. What are you most excited about? Personally, I'm more excited about the Aya Neo 2 with that 6800U, but I'm definitely going to get my hands on the Aya Neo Air so I can take a look at how this thing performs. It's going to be a pocket-friendly Windows handheld device, and I think emulation is really going to shine on that thing. But that's going to wrap it up for this one, and like always... Thanks for watching.